What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? This is a somber day, all right? Uh, may you may have noticed, may have known uh, a few days ago, uh, Matt Pat uh, released his final theory, which is right here. I'm going to be doing a reaction to it. I don't really don't do reactions to anything as is, but this is the very last Matt Pat. Matt Pat saying goodbye to base literally millions of subscribers and all of his years here at Game Theory. So I guess he's going, he's, from what I understand, he's going out with a bang on this one. Basically, uh, as a, with a big love letter to all of you guys out there. So let's see what he has to say here in this final theory. All right. So let's go. Mad Pat's final game theory. Oh my god, oh my god, look at his hair back then! This is so old back then, oh my god, this is so old. Look at that shit. PS3. And it evolved over time. Dude, it changed so much. And all the different show, all the different games he's done all these theories on. Yeah, Hello Neighbor, that was a big one. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, where that is the last time that I'll be saying those words officially on this channel. Loyal theorists, how do you say goodbye? Damn. 13 yeah. years ago, I made you this promise. Do you want to know more about the games you love without having to Chrono put Trigger, in I love any that game. work of your own? Well, now you can play and learn. <laughs> That's right, Weboverse. We have created Game Theory, gaming's tangential learning experience. Well, Weboverse... Dude, you sound like his balls had dropped back then. Tangential learning later. <laughs> How do you sum all that up? I already got 3,000, dude. Last one of these things, so probably shouldn't do that again. It'd be redundant and... Probably not great for the tech equipment. We've also mm. spent the last 10 weeks together knowing that this day was going to come, right? So I really yeah. feel like I've gotten my farewell tour. I've Comes to actions, us all. I've rekindled friendships. I mean, so oh, Gaijin Goomba? The state of online entertainment. Fired some tanks. That was legitimately very cool. I Dude, that's badass. Heritage. I made Disney mad at me one final time, which is <laughs> appropriate. Got some new dripping. And just in nice. general, set nice. my way through all you, the You're going out pissing off Disney? List. You so go out of King, ask, man. <laughs> how do you say goodbye? First, it's probably most important to remind you that it's not officially goodbye, right? Not like I'm dying or anything. It's more of a silly. <laughs> I'm still going to be doing plenty of stuff. Like, I'm already booked to do the fashion show on Style Theory later this year. I'm still going to be here on the couch for GP Live. In a couple weeks, I'm going to be giving a speech over at PAX. I was recently in a kill Damn. count. Heck, I'm already wow, really? slated to do the Jacksepticeye podcast, the Ludwig <laughs> podcast. There's a collaboration I'm doing with Shape Frillis Productions. There's the FNAF really? movie over on Random Encounters. Like, Wait, I will what? be doing a lot. And you will probably be sick of me doing all these things on everyone else's channels. But if you do want to stay in touch with me, there are actually... But he won't be here Normally on I this channel like, anymore. Oh, you can follow me Just on Twitter, guest starring. But, uh, so. We all know that there's like a grand total of zero people who want to be over on that platform. So instead, I decided to make you this. I know, Twitter's Where's doing that? pretty good as on I understand it. On a website named Where's Matpat.com. Uh, this is Are you serious? Every once in a while when I have news about some new project that's coming up or, you know, a mystery that you're going to have to solve by digging through the I mean, it's story. good that he'll still yes, be around. Yes, it's a ripoff of scottgames.com. No, I don't feel bad about that because he stole enough <laughs> of my ideas over the years. Oh! Oh, oh shots fired! Deal with shots the fired on, the, on his last day! Yeah, that's a good one. Once you're there, wait, wait, was it? That because he stole enough of my ideas over the years. Damn! Editor should drop on some deal with its sunglasses in this moment. Yeah, that's a good one. Once you're there, make sure you sign up via email. Don't worry, I'm not going to be spamming you with updates or anything. No, 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 no. Map Pat newsletter, or maybe a Christmas card that you get every once in a while with a funny update, or maybe we could chat about a favorite movie or something. I'll send over the yeah. <laughs> video FNAF. that just inspired. Hey, maybe he'll be in the next FNAF movie. Just meant to be a way to let you all know what I'm up to directly. In a way that I swear, if they do a sequel to FNAF, they better put Markiplier yeah, and off, this Matt Pat in selecting it. A hundred random and Jacksepticeye. Get personalized letters, and from that point forward. Once or they help make that game. Pulling a handful of emails to send personal notes to. It'll be a fun way to stay in touch. Long story short, make sure you bookmark it since you never know what might happen over there. But um, all right, enough stalling. Back to the question at hand. How do you say goodbye? 
Well, I think you Goodbye. have to end it all where it began. This, this title, a game theory about game theory. Did you know really? game theory isn't just a nerdy YouTube show? It's also a nerdy economics concept. If that's news to you, the I fuck? honestly can't blame you. At this point, we've created enough confusion online that apparently we've merited Very true. this ambiguation tag on Wikipedia. For what the shit, man? <laughs> for the first five years of the show, nice. I received so many tweets from people who are mid-year in their economics courses, screenshotting their textbooks, freaking out when they got to the episode on game. It's not an episode. Ep it's a episode? When they got to the, the chapter episode? on game theory, being like, dude. oh my gosh, dude, did you know that you were in this thing? And yeah. Yeah, we definitely did. The pun Holy crap, dude. Was it's amazing. In fact, Steph and I knew from the very beginning that it was likely that the final episode of Game Theory was going to be about Game Theory. Why? Well, because Game Theory is everywhere. You, you can't escape it. If you've ever seen the movie <laughs> Love Actually, there's actually this opening monologue in it that goes a little something like this. We live in a world of hatred and greed, but I don't see that. It seems to me that love is everywhere. If you look for it, you'll find that love actually is all around. Now you just got to replace the word oh, yeah. love with game theory. And you the, basically God is love. We live in a God world is of everywhere. hatred and greed. But I don't see that. It seems to me that game theory is everywhere. If you look really, for it, dude? you'll find that game theory actually is You're going to do it like that? Around. That's actually kind of a <laughs> cheap way to do that. The English acting megastar and recent Oompa Loompa Hugh Grant will be making a guest appearance in my final episode. The fuck? Truly. Truly, we have spared no expense for this one. <laughs> and not only is game theory just everywhere, it also holds the secret to winning everything forever. Yeah, I know, right? Wait, that what? is a huge claim to make. Clearly, I was saving all my biggest secrets for the grand finale. So, you know what? Let's not beat around the bush anymore, my friend. Let's make you masters of the universe and reveal how, whether you like it or not, you all are theorists for life. Come on. Oh, this way. Eh? Yeah. We're moving off the couch this time. That's how you uh. know it's a big deal. Let's go. At its core, game theory is the science of strategy. So we gamers, we understand strategy, but what exactly is game theory specifically? Well, to understand that, you have to go back to the original game theorist, not me, this guy. This guy right here. He might not have himself the red leather the jackets hell, or the cool diamond play buttons, but I'll tell you what he does have, a crater on the moon named after himself, so. I'll okay. Like well. Who has the bigger flex there? This guy right mm, here, he is mathematician John that's Von kind of a toss he was up, really. everywhere back in the day. And I do mean everywhere. Like, this guy was a key player in the invention of the digital computer. He helped with wow. the discovery of the structure of DNA, even the creation of key components for Oppenheimer's Manhattan Project. You know, the, the Christopher Nolan movie where big things go big booms. But perhaps his yeah. biggest claim to fame Bim, was boom, game very theory. Big boom. The idea that in any situation where there are two or more people, or players in this case, you can model out a game that'll help you find the best outcome. Have you ever played rock, <laughs> paper, scissors and thrown out rock as the first hand? Because you know, statistically, most people choose their first move to be scissors. Or maybe you picked- I thought most people chose rock, have been rock And they're obviously going to be throwing rock again. Well, congratulations. That is game theory in action. And he got a medal of freedom for that. So it just- Are you show, serious? Don't let your dreams just be dreams, kids. Sometimes getting an honorary <laughs> medal is a lot easier than you think. In short, game <laughs> theory is the study Especially of- Especially when you steal toys. it. It's math that tells you what people are gonna do and who's gonna win the game. Probably the most famous hmm. example of a game theory scenario is the prisoner's dilemma, where two accomplices have just committed the crime and they're both given the chance to narc on the other one. If they both deny the crime, well, they both get a short prison sentence. If one of them denies the crime and the other rats him out, the narc walks free while his buddy is stuck in prison for a long time. And if they both confess, they both get a medium sentence. We can model the possible outcomes here in a nice, neat, mathy looking square. And while technically the best outcome for both of them would be to trust each other and not confess, they're criminals. And not they don't likely. know each other that way. Exactly. And because they don't trust each other by the math. Both hey, of hey, them hey, wait, 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 wait. Just because they're criminals doesn't mean they don't know each other, okay? Sometimes very good friends can become criminals together. Don't ask me how I know that. Sell your business. Dark on each other, and as a result, get a medium amount of prison time. Or if that all is too complicated and hypothetical, over in England, they turn the whole thing into a game show where they say the word balls an uncomfortable amount of times. <laughs> what the hell? Golden balls. Golden balls. What? Balls of riches. 12 balls. My balls are all golden. 100 My golden balls. balls. And they're all <laughs> bursting with money. Killer balls. Balls. <laughs> balls. 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 <laughs> now, how do bring all this up? Well, oh my god, that's like one of my game sessions where somebody just says balls once and I just run with it and zero loses his shit. Game theory is more than just wads of cash jammed into a bunch of balls. 
how much to tell Mr. Beast when he discovered his next video idea. No, it has so many balls. Real consequences for the world. Back when the US Playing power world, getting my balls. The atomic annihilation, the principles of game theory helped both sides reach an agreement to slowly disarm their nuclear arsenal. If you want to know more about that story, Baratassian's recent video on game theory does a great job telling it. And yeah, so they only they made it so they only had enough nuclear weapons to destroy the world twice, as opposed to destroying it thirty times. That's a bit closer to home. That's much better, much safer. Here you go. YouTube, it's got it. See, YouTube but, as a platform is just a bunch of zeros and ones, right? But yes. YouTube as a community, it's a network of people constantly trying to make strategic decisions. Creators are players who are more or less rational people making videos that'll get you to watch and like and comment and subscribe. You, the viewer, you're also a player in this. Please. You're on a strategic mission to win the experience by finding the thing that's most satisfying to watch. And the people there who run, go. or at least have run YouTube in the past, shout out to Todd, Jake, Neil, Ernest, Meg, Ariel, Susan, David, Fede, Vader, Stephanie and Kim, they're all in a strategic game to keep the creators Screw Susan, and that happy bitch. while also figuring out the best no, outcome for YouTube as a company by appeasing no, all the advertisers and shareholders. No, they're not! That's a damn lie! Yes. Seriously, you have not been paying attention to YouTube lately, arena. have you, dude? And that's how you get decisions, like use bright green text because it's more likely to stand out in a sea of dark gaming thumbnails and more likely to get clicks. Launch shorts as a means to counterattack against TikTok. Do a video on something that's not trending so you can stand out from the pack. Or maybe you lean in so you're suggested against the algorithm. Every video you watch, everything that you click on, it's the product of creators using game theory. Slap a big old game theory colon in front of every title and slam some clickbait green text in every thumbnail. So small. All those hundreds of millions of subscribers to Jimmy Small. and Ryan Trahan and Coco Melon, I like to think that they're all secretly ours. Where's our 200 Dude. million subscriber play button there, YouTube? In the end, it's all Damn. game theory. Speaking of, and, and this is just an aside that I learned about earlier this week, apparently there's a Chrome extension that allows you to do exactly what I just described. It quote unquote Matt Patifies your YouTube feed by putting Matt text on like every thumbnail. Just saying, we have reached the peak of human achievements. I, for one, really like this one, where it's Link and saying, Mommy's hungry. That's just traumatic on a whole nother level. Or there was one that I saw circulating online, Ryan Gosling doing a puppy interview, and the title is Birth of a Killer. Uh, there was another one that showed up on the subreddit, Afton's Final Death Smash. <laughs> I gotta Wait, say, what? I am proud of the mark that I will leave on this planet. <laughs> But so what, right? YouTube is game Maybe I should start sure, putting green text on my uh, thumbnails, guys. What do you why think? Why does it matter to you, right? Why am I spending so much time talking about all of this in my final episode? Well, it's like I said, game theory can help in every strategic interaction that you have. And it's produced a literal strategy guide on the best way to live out your life. Tried and tested by all our grandfather theorists. But to truly understand that, we have to go back to where it all began. A glorified PowerPoint presentation. Weboverse, allow me to introduce you to, like please, the trust game. I love this. We started as glorified PowerPoint slides and we're ending as glorified PowerPoint slides. Here's the TLD on this one. The trust game was originally just ended how you began. a tournament by a guy named Robert Axelrod, clearly not the most creative with his titling conventions. Basically, this was the prisoner's dilemma or the golden balls thing, except here there was one crucial difference. They're not just playing the game once, they are literally playing it <clears throat> hundreds of times, repeating it over and over again to see what strategies end up winning the most across a longer period. This oh, I've seen this before. This is shockingly closer to real life, because here, most of the time, you're not just thinking about what you have to do to win a single game, you have to actually think about the consequences of your actions. The more people think about the future, the more they're willing to cooperate because they don't want to screw themselves over down the road, you know? Again, for details on that experiment, check out Derek. Veritasium's video where he talks about all of that, including having an interview with the game's creator. It's a very cool video. I also borrowed his uh, convention for that one, so thanks for the latter and the idea. There you go. You can also watch Dr. Trevor Bassett's video on the topic, or, you know, the various TED Talks. I think I've seen that guy before. Experiment. We'll link to all of those down in the description below. But just to jump to the big conclusion here, the best strategy to winning it big boils down to four key points. Number one, be cooperative. Lead with trust. Assuming that the person you're playing with is your enemy right off the bat, it's not going to serve you well. Trust in others, it's going to let you win more frequently in the end. Secondly, don't be a pushover. Mm. Sure, it's good to be trusting, that is great, but the second that someone takes advantage of your trust, the winning strategy is to call them out on it and then immediately hold them accountable. Which leads Very true. Then to point number three, being forgiving. Don't hold a grudge. Don't be a Mr. Darcy. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. That is a failing indeed. 
You tell him, girl, you are exactly right. <laughs> She's speaking some game theory truth right there. Well, sure, it hurts to have okay. your trust broken. Staying open to the chance that other people can change, that they can grow and learn and get better, that is the ideal solution here. The trust game showed that players who held their opponent accountable, but then forgave them, actually won out more often than any other strategy. And lastly, it's important to be honest and open about your strategy. When people can't understand hmm. what you're thinking, that's then when mistrust starts to breed. By being honest, it breeds honesty in others. It allows you to build on that trust over time, one step, bit by bit. Across the thousands of rounds of testing, nice strategies that were fair, but also firm, ultimately won. There you go. Now, when I read these outcomes, what it's really kind of like the whole nice guys finish first. A really That's how I saw it. I saw it in a book one time. A guy was doing it, and he called it the nice guys finish first strategy. I mean, it's easy to assume that everyone out there is out to get you, and it's easier to just close off to people. Well, they kind of are, but past, but math and game theory specifically proves that assumption's wrong. And hey, if you don't want to believe the thousands of rounds of computer simulations, there is a very solid real life example. YouTube. YouTube is a positive sum game, which means that more than one person can win. And in fact, a lot of times Very true. the more others win, the more you can win too. When I was yes. starting off, I was so That's why I say subscribe, guys. Because you subscribe to anybody, you help us all out. i have been working for a year on the channel at that point, grinding away and seeing a fair amount of growth. But in that moment, I saw a spinoff of one of YouTube's top subscribed channels just horning in on my territory of gaming science like they were going to steamroll me. They were going to steal my audience away. So I did a video where I tried to stake my claim. And thus, Sonic is Slow was born. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. Applying science to video games since April 18th of 2011. Recently, however, really? a new gaming They've been around that long, huh? the scene. The good folks over at Vsauce 3 recently took a gander at a game series I covered in Episode 5. It's a great video, except for one thing. It's wrong. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I'm I know. so proud that I finally hit puberty, like, seven years of <laughs> That's making That's what I was saying! Anyway, oh, my God! You can tell that, that I'm super salty in this movie, right? I'm yeah. asserting that I did it first. I'm Dude, he was, fire, he was firing shots on that one, man. He was, but then, Matt Pat, he was, was getting ready to throw hands, man. <laughs> from Vsauce. I saw that their video and mine were actually helping each other. I was mm -hmm. so afraid of me losing a year of hard-earned progress. But in reality, I wasn't just operating on my own island anymore. By unintentionally cooperating with each other, we had just created our own little micro-trend of gaming science content. There were clearly enough views for all of us. Steph and I, in our years of consulting... What you created was a controversy. You created a fight. It looked like you were starting a fight. And that's what got everybody interested. Everybody's like, oh shit, they fighting over there? <laughs> so everybody was like... So that's the thing. You get two people fighting, even if it's just bitching at each other, trust me. You will attract attention. <laughs> Kept hammering home this one point, that YouTube is a place where all ships can rise. Leading with trust goes a long way. From inviting someone to collab on your channel, to comparing notes on production because it can help you both. You actually see this kind of cooperative- Yeah, I'd like uh, to collab with uh, the Duck Goes like Moo again. He is an awesome guy, I really like him. Sharing audiences. On the flip side, there are creators who haven't done a good job of leading with trust and who've approached YouTube as a zero-sum game, a place where there can only be one winner. And guess what? Yeah. It didn't work. Back in 2020, a few of the top beauty creators tried to take each other down, encouraging viewers not to watch really? each other, trying to turn audiences against people that they thought were their competitors. It was for the clout, it was for the views, and it backfired. Yeah. In fact, it backfired nah, so badly that all of their channels took a massive hit. And the beauty burden, wow. which was once a main pillar of YouTube's earliest days, never truly recovered. By working together, the platform thrives. Lights. But by thinking that you can only win when other people lose, well, that's when everyone loses. See, that's the thing. Some people have the attitude, you know, it's not enough that I succeed, others must fail. That's the problem. It's, it's kind of sad. Let's move on. But if you don't want to listen to mathematicians or Dude, YouTube Dude, look at that green screen. I want one. Game like Theory, that. the show, is a testament to those four lessons of Game Theory, the nerdy economics concept. Every person who's built this channel has led with trust. Ronnie, he put his own show on the back burner so he could dedicate his time to editing Game Theory trusting that we would be able to succeed more together. He helped the show yeah. to truly become what I had always dreamed it would be, and I honestly wish that he could be here to this day so I could thank him so much for that. The same is true for Goomba and Drake and Lee and Ryder and all the Goomba. other partner shows who joined up with us in lieu of working on their own channels. 
uh, Steph, nice. she left being a consultant at a real company in the medical field on the belief that by cooperating, we could actually make something really special. Wow. Uh, Jason, Damn. Uh, who is actually right here behind the camera right now. Uh, Jason, who you know as the guy that we blame all the time on uh, GT Live. Uh, Jason <laughs> was Fear's first full-time employee after me and Steph. He jumped in there when all we had was a kitchen table and a cat that he was constantly alerted to. And uh, a kitchen thing, table you have and a dream the thing for your current network because and Zyrtec. It, and, and Zyrtec. And Zyrtec. You have yeah. taken so many pills over the years. Zyrtec. Yeah, you go, on, man. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna need that shit, man. Prescribed though, I promise. I mean, yeah, I don't really good like, love cats. Pills, you know, they're kind of dicks, you, but I don't sure. hate them. Uh, but, but yeah, I am super allergic to cats too, man. I get nasty. Process across all the channels for years, like. This man is the unsung hero of everything you've probably ever watched. He looks nervous. Movie. Without him. He looks really nervous you. to be yet in front of the camera. None of these videos would get made. Oh, dude, he's going to break down again. Now get back there, okay? No, get, get back there. Other people. Oh, man. Ah, you know, friendship. This is first, deep. This is very heavy. But also working together to create awesome stuff, right? And if you're talking about unsung heroes on this channel, there is one man who also deserves a call out, and his name is Yossi. He is our audio wizard. He is the man who I have trusted with my <laughs> voice for the better part of nine years. He has had to suffer through more hours of my voice <laughs> than anyone else in the world. <laughs> I am so sorry, Yossi. I am I'm so sorry. sorry for all the burps and weird edits and the weird burps. tribes and jump scares that Ali has given me over the years. Was Yossi a pro when he first joined up with us? No, but you know what he was willing to do? He was willing to learn. And I've trusted him wow. for the better part of nine years. And the same goes for another member of the team who you've this never gotten to awesome. see, but was I actually there before the channel was even monetized, which is kind of crazy to think about. You don't know wow. Dan Levitt, uh, but Dan was another one. He was the first who actually saw potential in me and in these channels as a whole, offering to become my manager, even though he had never managed a YouTuber before. He just jumped in with two feet and said, hey, Damn, I've never man. gotten a brand deal in the past, but I think I could do it for you. And he did and then he got me literally hundreds more. He has his own management company now, and he manages some of the biggest Shh. sports creators on all of YouTube. A lot of, so many people came together for this, man. This company and my career God. would have looked totally different had it not been for Dan, and his career- I can only hope to get half totally this big, man. Me. He and I have built businesses parallel to each other, <laughs> right next to each other, using cooperative game theory for over a decade. He trusts me to make good decisions on YouTube, and I trust him to make good decisions as my manager. And we both benefit in the long run. But perhaps the most important <laughs> person in all of these trusting relationships is you. You guys, right yeah. here. I wear you on my wrist these days. You loyal theorists have been the best example of game theory in the history of the show Game Theory. Every time you click yep. on one of these videos, you are leading with trust. You are saying, you know what? I'm going to give this one a chance, especially on those episodes. That and we appreciate every time. I appreciate every time and you guys give end, me a chance I've to watch my best something. To fill on that promise and make sure that your trust pays off by delivering a great, well-researched, so cool. fun, a lot of times stupid video. And yeah, there have been plenty of times <laughs> yeah. where, the mark, where Lots of you weren't happy about a topic or where I said something wrong or my research was yeah. bad or whatever. And I needed to learn about that. And so you acting exactly as you should, according to that trust game, you called me out in those moments. You showed me that I had made a mistake. But more importantly, you were willing to forgive. You gave me a chance to learn and grow as a creator and as a person. And look, look at this. We all won. Look all at this. this thing that we managed to build together. Don't tell anyone else. I mean, there's three of them here in the room, but like. <laughs> They're like. You guys oh, you. have always been the most important member of this team whether or not you ever realized it. And now, as new hosts step in, yeah, they're That's obviously awesome. gonna have to learn a lot, and they're gonna have to earn your trust just like I did over a prolonged period of time. But I hope that you approach them with the same sense of cooperation and goodwill that you did for me all those years ago. That's so, so awesome. Well, I might be leaving as host of this show, Game Theory, it'll never leave. It'll never leave me, and it'll never leave you. We are all Game Theory, which Honestly, is why I thought it's it all today. game theory. Always has been. To be the one to say this. But hey, that's just a theory. And that's just a theory. <gasps> it's just, just a theory. theory. Just a theory. That's just a theory. Okay, theory. Last is best. Thanks for the theories, Matt. Pat. But hey.
That's oh. just a theory. C'est juste une théorie. Just, just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. Thanks for everything. But hey, that's just a theory. <laughs> that's just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. 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 Dude, look at all. That's just a theory. 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 Wow. A style theory. A food theory. A film theory. A game theory. It's hanging up the jacket, saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. Wow. God. Where to? I got something I gotta do. Okay. <laughs> Wait for a road trip? What next? I guess. Let's go. Time. Time for the next adventure. Ready? Yeah. Now what? Whoa. Nice doors. I've been expecting you. Come. We have much to discuss. <laughs> Lore Keeper ending? Ending one of six? Wait, what? Oh, all official endings? Matt Pat's final theory. All endings. Oh my god. Brent says where to find all endings. Check the bottom of the, of the description. If you want to find them yourself, happy hunting. Huh. And you know what? I do believe I will be doing a separate video on all the endings. <sighs> oh my god, man, that was... That was... That was heavy. That was very heavy. I mean, I was not a big time... I wasn't a huge... Uh, watcher of Matt Pet. I watched some of his stuff and I thought a lot of it was interesting, but... Man. I mean, to see him go, it's just... My God, man! It's like he real, and then I didn't realize he's been around since 2011. It's like, my God, I didn't realize he'd been around that long. <sighs> well, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Matt Pat will go down in history as one of the biggest and greatest YouTubers. I mean, he's not the biggest. I mean, not even close. He's got well, he, Gang Theory alone has about. A little bit less than 20 million subs, which is very nice, very amazing. I mean, I like I said, I can only imagine being half that size. Pause on that. No, pa no pause on that. All right. So, um, but holy crap! I mean, so that I can. So, but and yet, even though he's not as big as somebody like PewDiePie with a hundred million subs, yet. He's, I don't know, I could almost say he's just as well known on the internet, if not even more so, than PewDiePie is. You know? I mean, he's just so huge. So, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And it's kind of a bittersweet thing to say goodbye to Matt Pat. I mean, it's not like he's dying. Like it's not like he's dying. But it's time, I guess it's time for a new journey, a new adventure for him. So, who knows where that'll take him. Maybe... I mean, well, like you said, we'll see him on the other channels. Maybe one day he'll even come back. That'll be amazing. Bad Pat make after a long after a while. Bad Pat making a return to game theory. That would be amazing. But like this video, guys. 
and subscribe. Like he said, it's a matter of trust. You subscribe, you help, you give it a like, we all win. And we basically, uh, we're trying to win against YouTube. We're not working really with YouTube because YouTube refuses to work with us. So we don't, we basically are, are basically working against them. We're winning in spite of YouTube, not because of them. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> what the heck was that about? Anyway, um, and share so share this video on social media guys help this channel grow and definitely even if you even if you just as, just as a tribute just to say bye to Matt Pat click on the link to the original like the original and subscribe to game theory just to say bye to Matt Pat and to keep supporting this amazing channel that obviously has so many people just pouring their heart and soul into making all kind of things i mean i'm just some guy making reaction videos in my room with a Green screen, I bought an Amazon and a camera I borrowed, borrowed from my parents. In other words, I took it and I never gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, gaming rig, which I can all, the game, the, this rig I have for my computer, my PC, I can only afford it because of you guys. So that's part of the, that's part of the trust thing. You guys trust me to bring you content and, you know, you guys help me grow and be able to afford what I have. I mean, I remember when I started out, I didn't have a green screen. It was just my, my filthy room in the background, you know? And uh, the videos were a tiny little thing with my head here. You know, I remember how it all how that all started. You know, so we've all had ups and downs, and I know Matt Pat has had them too, but, you know, like I said, support the channel, Game Theory. Support this channel, you know, help us out, and because we all need you. And I will see you guys next time, and maybe one day this channel will grow as big as Matt Pat's. But hey, that's just a theory.